On June 19, 2004, three astronomers spotted something that froze the scientific world. A massive asteroid, now called Apophis, was racing through space on a collision course with Earth. At least, that's what early data suggested. They calculated a 2.7% chance it could slam into our planet on Friday the 13th, April 2029, high enough to trigger an unprecedented global alarm. Named for the Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis is nearly as long as the Eiffel Tower is tall, capable of unleashing energy hundreds of times greater than the Hiroshima bomb. Could an object like this truly end life as we know it? Or is there more to the headline than anyone realized? Apophis is no ordinary space rock. It stretches about 340 meters across, longer than three football fields end to end. Radar images hint at a lumpy, peanut-like shape, and its mass tips the scale at roughly 27 billion kilograms. Made mostly of silicate minerals, Apophis belongs to the S-type family, the same kind of stony asteroid that makes up a big chunk of the inner solar system. What sets it apart isn't just size. Apophis races around the sun in just 324 days, even faster than Earth's own year, and its path crosses inside our planet's orbit. Every 31 hours, it spins once on its axis, tumbling through space at a steady clip. When astronomers first caught its motion, they realized this wasn't just another distant visitor. This was an teen class asteroid with a track that comes dangerously close to home. December 4 brought a jolt no one expected. As more data rolled in from telescopes around the world, scientists ran the numbers and saw something alarming. A 2.7% chance that Apophis could hit Earth on April 13th, 2029. That's not lottery odds. That's 1 in 37. For an object this size, those were the highest impact odds ever recorded. The Minor Planet Center and NASA's Sentry System flagged the date and the asteroid shot up to level four on the Torino scale, a rating reserved for events with the potential for regional devastation. News headlines ran wild, and even seasoned astronomers felt a chill. For a few tense days, every update from JPL and the Minor Planet Center was watched like a countdown clock. On April 13th, 2029, Apophis will streak across the sky just 19,000 miles above Earth's surface closer than the ring of satellites we use for weather, TV, and global communication. That's inside the geostationary belt, where high-value satellites orbit at 22,236 miles up. For a few minutes, people in parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia will be able to spot Apophis with the naked eye, shining as a moving point of light. Space agencies will be on high alert, tracking its path as it slips through this crowded zone. Earth's gravity will tug at the asteroid, possibly altering its spin or reshaping its surface. Scientists are eager to watch these tidal effects in real time. Knowing this flyby offers a rare laboratory for understanding how close encounters can change an asteroid forever. The name Apophis isn't just a label, it's a warning. In Egyptian myth, Apophis was the serpent god of chaos, the enemy of light, forever threatening to swallow the sun. Scientists chose that name for a reason. If this asteroid ever struck Earth, chaos wouldn't be just a story. The energy released would reach about 880 megatons, millions of times stronger than the Hiroshima bomb. Imagine that force slamming into the ocean. The first wave could tower over 100 meters high, racing outwards at jet speed. Coastal cities, ports, and lowlands could be wiped out in minutes with tsunamis flooding miles inland. Not every shore would be hit the same, but for those in the path, the devastation could stretch for hundreds of kilometers. That's why tracking Apophis became an all-hands mission for scientists worldwide. It took a breakthrough in the archives to calm the world's nerves. Astronomers dug up images from March 2004, months before Apophis's official discovery, captured by the Space Watch team in Arizona. Those faint streaks, called pre-covery images, gave scientists a much longer timeline to plot its orbit. Suddenly, the numbers snapped into focus. The risk for 2029 vanished overnight. 
JPL analysts ran the new data through their models and found no collision path. By early 2005, Apophis was downgraded from the risk list, but the story didn't end there. In March 2021, NASA's radar campaign locked in its trajectory to within a couple of kilometers, erasing any doubt for at least a century. Thanks to patient tracking and a little detective work, the threat faded, leaving only questions science could answer. OSIRIS-REx, the spacecraft that once chased down asteroid Bennu, now has a new mission and a new name, OSIRIS APEX. In April 2029, just after Apophis brushes past Earth, this robotic explorer will match orbits and close in for a detailed investigation. The mission team plans to map every ridge and crater, track changes in Apophis's spin, and even fire thrusters to stir up the surface. Every reading helps scientists understand how close encounters with planets can reshape asteroids. Vital knowledge for defending Earth in the future. For planetary defense, this is a rare chance to turn a near miss into a living laboratory. On April 13th, 2029, asteroid 99942 Apophis will pass just 19,000 miles from Earth, closer than many satellites. When it was discovered in 2004, Calculations showed a 2.7% chance of impact, the highest ever recorded for an object of its size, and Apophis reached level 4 on the Torino scale. Thanks to decades of tracking, including radar observations in 2021 and recovery images from 2004, scientists have ruled out any collision for at least the next century. Yet, no one has seen Apophis up close, and questions remain about how Earth's gravity might change its surface or spin. The upcoming OSIRIS APEX mission will turn this near miss into an unprecedented experiment, gathering data to improve future asteroid defense. The story of Apophis is proof that vigilance, science, and global cooperation can transform fear into preparedness. But as thousands of near-Earth objects remain uncharted, the question persists. Could Apophis, or another asteroid, ever threaten Earth in the future?